this is now our 10th year of doing it, you know, and I remember going back uh, to the first one and it was quite a small competition. And here we are today, you know, with hundreds of thousands of, of uh, entrants again. But people can cater their business on that, make changes and take a positive slant and make a difference to people's lives. So I think it's a great competition and long may it continue. This is a unique opportunity to award those who really help the people that we also together uh, cater for and that we care for. Basically all the audiologists which were nominated have been practicing the holistic approach, the person-centered approach. And that is exactly the message from the European Federation of Hard of Hearing. It's not just the technology, but the people who help us to get the best out of this technology. In any competition you have to keep moving forward so we have invested in some changes on the, the audiologist of year branding and you've seen that here tonight and that'll take us forward uh, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. But we've also introduced a new sponsor to the event. We already have AHEMA as a sponsor, we also have Audio Info as a sponsor, but we've introduced uh, the European Federation for the Hard of Hearing. So we have a mix now of devices, power source and people. So I think it's a really good mix to take us to our 11th competition next year. We have worked together with European um, Association of Hearing Aid Professionals um, in the developing of uh, European standard of hearing aid professional services but also we have supported their um, development of the code of conduct and quite a few of the criteria which are included in the competition are part of this code of conduct so it was kind of um, a natural extension of what we are doing and who we are engaging with The winner this year is always a pause. From the UK, Mr. Robert B. Once I eventually came down from the clouds and it dawned on me, uh, I was incredibly proud incredibly proud and the award has never been really about me it's always been about the unsung heroes the patients that I look after it's been about the audiologists that work with me and the award is as much for them as it is as it is for me and could you tell us a little bit about your patient and why they nominated you for the award Chris's story is uh, an amazing story. I've looked after her for nearly 20 years. She was asked to, asked to come to see me, which she didn't have much hope because everyone told her nothing could be done. And we've been on a journey together for 20 years. It's been an emotional roller coaster for both of us. The fact that patients are prepared to go public, the fact that they're prepared to tell their story, engages them and me in a completely different way to anything else I've experienced. And the Audiologist of the Year Awards gives them that opportunity and I would tell anyone in audiology this is something you should strive to try to attain. Yeah, I love what I do. Uh, I get up in the morning excited about what's going to happen, about the emotional connection that will occur between myself and one of my patients who I don't call patients, I don't call them clients, I call them friends, they're friends of the practice and they're they're my personal friends. Our job as uh, editors and journalists is to tell amazing stories. You provided to us very good stories and we would like to share with our audience. And so for us it's very important to this partnership yeah. with you. Having read um, the entries um, and the stories that people have had to tell about the audiologies, the hearing journeys, in some ways it's confirmed for me and for the rest of the board but our strategy and the way we are working is the correct one. This year's winner, Robert, just told me that this award is as much for him as for his customers and his clients. And I think it shows that the trust that a person with a hearing impairment um, puts, conveys to his or her hearing audiologist 
um, is well earned and is something to be applauded. It's a call to action for people with hearing impairment to go to an audiologist and see what they can do for them. They really can change their life. And this is what this award is about.